Stay a while and listen. Hello, welcome back to the Freak Show. Bumpy McSquigums here. I want to thank you all for joining me as I continue with my Let's Play of Fire Emblem Three Houses. Uh, well, I have to redo this episode because I was dumb and I deleted it before uploading it. After I rendered it and then I had no file anymore. So, I also didn't have a save file because back when I originally recorded these like 50 whatever episodes... It was the first couple of weeks that the game was out, and then I hadn't touched it since, because I still had things to upload and record, or that I've already recorded. So, it only had like the four or five save files. Now they've unlocked a whole bunch more, and there's a bunch of other cool stuff, uh, harder difficulty levels and all sorts of things. But, <laughs> we didn't have that before. So, I say all that to tell you guys that I basically had to play all the way back to this point. And now we're going to be able to continue. So, let's uh, hop in and see what's up. It was kind of nice getting uh, back into the game. Um, yeah, I really like playing this game and I want to be able to just play through and finish it. But, you know, the nature of YouTube, right? So, sorry for the super long intro there. As you can see, here we are. This is where I've been uh, saving the old, uh, the old stuff going on here. Uh, dog and cat. Cat gift recipients? What? What does that mean? That wasn't a thing from before. The Underground Chamber. White Clouds, Chapter 6. Rumors of a Reaper. It seems Flane is still missing. What could have happened to her? Everyone, hurry! I heard a scream coming from Professor Yuritsa's room! Uh-huh. Yuritsa. Ah, the combat professor with the mask. Oh, dear. He's always been rather suspicious. We must hurry. Indeed. Professor Yuritsa, are you there? Mm. Oh no, it's Manuela. She does not seem to be here. Hmm? On the ground. Professor Manuela. Is she injured? Is she dead? She's unconscious. Someone clearly attacked her. Hmm. Look at her hand. It looks as though she is pointing at something. There. There's oh. an opening behind that shelf. <clears throat> the giant a secret passage room. The giant hole in the wall? The, like, okay. What is the meaning of wait, is that Manuela? What happened here? We know as much as you do. She needs to be taken to the infirmary. Yes, of course. And quickly, give me a hand, child. Understood. I'll support her head. Don't don't take my tank. Professor, I'll be back shortly. Please be careful. Oh man. So some of the Does this mean Professor mm. Yuritsa did it? Could he also have kidnapped Flane? We should start by investigating this passageway. Do you agree, Professor? Sure. Uh yeah, let's do it. Agreed. The culprit could be hiding inside. That settles it. We'll take the offensive. Here we come, you monster. Yeah. Shall we, Professor? I don't still don't like you. I'm just saying. I never would have imagined. Hmm? I see someone. They're unconscious. Is that Flane and, and someone else? Yes. And there is someone else, too. It appears to be another student. Hmm. Someone's coming. I recognize that oh, sight great. and mask. It's that jerk we fought at the Holy Mausoleum. Which we did fight this time, by the way. Oh. You must be. What's up? One of us will die. The other will live. I will enjoy this dance of damnation. Oh, you will, will you? Well, I mean, if you insist, we can we can do this dance. Okay, so one of the things are going to be slightly different. Because levels are going to be different, classes might be slightly different. I didn't go through and match everything exactly. Um, what else? I did manage to... I tried it. I want to see if I could do it. I did manage to defeat the Death Knight at the first encounter. I walked up to him and was like, alright, I'm got. i prepared. I can survive this one hit with, um, with our boy Byleth here. And then I can follow it up with another hit from... Oh, what was her name? Um... Edelgard, and then I could probably kill him with somebody else. You know, it was it was a fairly decent chance as long as I didn't get crit. So I walked up, hit him with Byleth, crit him, killed him immediately, and that was it. I was like, oh, 
oh, okay. So, surprise, we we have the dark seal that we threw onto our creepy boy, uh, Mr. Hubert, and it's yeah, it's it's a thing. All right, so we got to go to the marketplace because. Welcome. Of reasons. We're gonna go to the blacksmith. I'm gonna try forging first and repairing second. Might not need to do any of the forging at all, but we'll see. Uh, the iron lance needs to be repaired. Uh, he said, I could forge this, probably. Is that the one? Forge. Alright. Uh, yeah, we're gonna forge a steel sword as that is also about to go and get a broken did -did. Welcome. Uh, the iron bow. Why not? I mean, it's a little early to do it, but we're gonna do it anyway. And that, she's not here. But apparently, we can still access her equipment. Alright, so now what we need to do blacksmith, we need to go for repairs. And I think it was just the Iron Lance? Is that the one? Thanks a bunch. Alright, what else? Is there anything else? I think that might have been it. I think everything else can kind of just survive through. Yeah, I think we're fine. Okay, and with that, let's uh, replenish our dudes. There we are. And let's get into the mission and see what all transpires. Begin the battle. Defeat the Death Knight or rout all other enemies. Our objective is to recover Flame. Let us hope we are not too late. Indeed. Oh, there's hmm. teleporters. Something I think. Odd about the floor over there. What will happen if we step on it? I don't know, Hubert. Why don't we find out that out? All right, so how strong is the? He's level twenty. See, I've been trying to get my my people up high enough that they could maybe survive the Death Knight attacking, and I'm not sure that I've accomplished this. So I will let you guys know how this all kind of transpired if you are uh, so inclined. We'll get through this whole fight today in this episode. I'm pretty sure. Um, but essentially in my first round of doing this, we did all the stuff that we're going to do and then we got in here and there was, I think one of these guys was left over and I moved my archer up to basically take the hit and not get hit. And I forgot that she had point blank, uh, return essentially like, um, retaliation and she killed the guy and we won without being able to actually battle the Death Knight. So, this time around, I'd like to see the Death Knight and us do a battle, but it's probably not going to happen. I don't know. We'll find out. We'll see. Stay focused. All right. So, what do we need over here? We're going to go up this way. There's a bunch of people that we got to fight. A bunch of stuff going on over here. Um, is there any chests or anything on this side? I do not see any. And on this side, there is a chest. I know for a fact it's right there. Is there more than one? There is. There's two. Alright, so this might look a bit complicated, but it's not going to be that bad. Oh, no. I think I'm going to send Bernie back that way, but... But... That's my Let's cue. do this. Her gambit basically allows her to speed everybody up in a pretty big oh, area. Yeah. So I get most of the people, but not quite everyone. Thank you. Basically everybody but Hubert. So that is going to slow her down, though. So she'll take a while to recover from this. To work. And I suppose that's fine. Warp. Can we move after we warp? We can. Okay, I wasn't sure if that was a possibility. I actually now thinking I didn't want to send her over here. Well, that was that was kind of silly of me. Well, too late now. I done did a thing. I actually wanted her to not go this way. Oh, she does more damage than I thought she did. 
You know what? That's fine. She can go this way now. Uh, she's a bit underwhelming overall, so that's why I was thinking not to take her, but... You know what? We're fine. We got this. Alright, big old slap. We're not going to use the armor slayer, even though we could. We're just going to use our iron sword. I think that's what we used. Yeah. And iron is not great against armored units, as I'm sure... Like, I, I realize, guys and gals, this has been a very, very slow build for the uh, series. I, I am well aware. So there's a very real chance that people have already played through this game three or four times by the time they're even viewing this episode. That doesn't mean that you did it exactly the same way that my primitive little mind works. So it can still be a fun and new experience for everyone involved. At least I'm hoping that's the case anyway. All right. Let's go ahead and get good old Lindy Windy over here. Use some Nasferatu. All right, we hit the door keys. I forgot about that. I am Ferdinand von Eyer. Are you? Are you really? I feel like he probably is. Archer done. Bum ba bum bum bum. Sweet. Always getting. Seems simple enough. Okay, that was a pretty good level up for our our, our person here. Good old Ferdy. All right, what's next? I think I could probably get you to come up over here and, and probably take care of this guy. There we are. Down you go, friend. Uh, let's get rid of the... Yeah, I didn't do a lot of the stuff that I probably should have done before we started. Like clearing out my inventory and all sorts of other things. So, whoopsie. I was wondering if I could attack through the wall. I cannot... All right, Bernie hit level 20. Nice. Put me in there. All right, Caspi, get on up here, friend. Training lance. Let's get rid of that. All right, the baddies don't even get to move because we are too strong for them. Hmm. Here's a here's a small possible problem that we may face here. If we move forward too far too fast, could be problematic. Also, why don't we just do this, get it over with. Pretty sure I can curve shot you down, unless we miss, which is possible. It is another spell cat. I'm like, and who's the one that's going to be attacking us from here? I also feel like maybe I brought one too many people on this side. And I should set one more the other way. Uh, I guess Dor Dorothea's probably going to go over there. That's probably how this is going to work. She'll be slow because she is slow. I need to get some sort of like item that lets her move faster. She is, uh, I think, our slowest person. Even slower than Edelgard, who is a, a heavy armored knight person. So, take from that what you wheel. Alright. Um, I think I can keep doing the gambit, so I will. Speed those two up. Yeah. All right, we'll eventually be able to teleport, but before we do that, we get to exchange arrows. Is that worth it? Or can I just do it with like a basic attack? Did I overshoot it? No, I didn't, okay. Basic attack's fine, basic attack's fine. Don't need to use extra weapon durability if we can help it. Downside being right now that uh, our gal's even further behind, eh. I'm not really counting on her for a whole heck of a lot this time around, so just the maneuvering abilities is probably more than enough. All right, iron sword, easy. Oh, sorry. What did he just say? Something about a trap? I still have much to. I didn't actually... Oh, I'm so sorry. Hubert, I didn't know you said something, buddy. How hard do you hit with your hand axe? 
Hard enough. You don't miss. Alright, we got another dorky, and we unfortunately have to keep that one. We're gonna put our torch away for now. I assume we're gonna need the dorkies. I'm also gonna go take a peek at where this takes me. Interesting apparatus. I wonder if we can operate it. Oh, I imagine. Uh oh. I imagine we're so you have come. probably I'll fine. Sure you never leave. Indubitably. Alright, well. Uh, I'm gonna hang out here. And I really hope that your defense is high enough, because if it's not, you're probably gonna die. Alright, so. Now that we've done that, which clearly wasn't a good thing to do. are where we are, I guess. Yeah, not worried about this. Wow. We kind of obliterated your soul, friend. Ha! Yep, I thought we'd be okay. Well, that was adorable. Did you not just see what happened to your friend? Not, not a great start for you guys. Well, I suppose... Move you along. You might eventually get there. Let's see where this takes you. Uh, nope. There we are. Whoop. And yeah, we got this. Another easy kill with the Iron Bow of Doom. I said good day, sir. Ooh, dorky, but we have our thief over on this side, so the dorkies don't need to be coming out. Uh, can you make it there? No, cubes, you can't. We'll have old Lindy Windy do it. That seems better. Oh, I wanted to change what was equipped. I can't do that now, can I? Boo! Boo! It's fine. We're getting up into a somewhat sticky situation up here, it looks like. There's some spell casty baddies coming, and... Well, they're behind a door, so it's not really that bad. Eh, we're probably fine then. And then we got you. I mean, if I must slaughter you, I will. A lot of different places to go. I guess I'll wait, and then I'm gonna pull the lever, though I don't know what the lever's gonna do. Watch and learn. They've also added, like, speed up for combat animations and things like that, so... Like, they've done a lot to patch the game in the... God, it's probably been, what, almost six months or more since it's come out? It's It's been a while. I don't think it's been that long, but it's been a fair few months. And they've done a lot of work to it, so I'm, I'm quite happy with the game. I was happy with the game when I played it before, so the fact that they're still doing things is really cool. Alright, chest key. I might skip stuff automatically at this point, just because I've tried to play through as quickly as possible. I definitely don't want to move you into a spot where you're going to get attacked and be incapable of attacking back. It does seem silly. I'll move you up. I believe Hubert has the other key? Yeah, uh, chest key. Does anybody have a door key? Okay. It's you. You have the door key. Alright. Can I do that from here? Should be able to, right? Yeah, no, not you. You. Get rid of the magical people. No more magicalness for you, friends. 
Uh, eh. I might get hit with a spell. It might happen. I've accepted this and I moved on. Alright, so we can just open the door because we're a thief. And it's good and, oh my goodness, and sweet, sweet, nice styles with a Z. Again, we're, we're attempting very much to not get ourselves slaughtered by anything. Poor Dorothea. She needs someone to carry her. What does the lever do? I, I'm not actually sure what it did. I'm gonna move in here. Where does this take me? Maybe I'll move there for right now. Well, that didn't work. I believe this is also a timed mission, so we have only a certain number of turns that we can that we can take before we fail or succeed at the mission. Let's go ahead and trade with you. I'll give you the dorky. And we'll just call it a day. You can go open the dork. The dork on the opposite side also opened. Um, you know what? We'll do this. What? Is that a healing square at the top? I'm not positive. Maybe? We may be slightly more overleveled than we were before coming in here, because I remember struggling a little, little bit with this one. Not, not a lot. It's a slightly. There was a little bit of struggles going on. But again, it was, it was not, not a lot. Dead eye, yes, that is exactly who I wanted. Dead eye, but at the cost of, of uh, accuracy, we managed it. So I'm okay with that. Look, she almost made it, but she didn't. Eh, so much running. All right, where does this thing take us? Oh, surprise! All right, what's this do? I'm assuming it just heals us. Granted, we weren't missing any, uh... Oh, that was an odd choice. Send your archer up to attack me in melee range. It was with the gambit. It was just a healing square, okay. Here, you can have more dexterity. Yay, I think that's what that did. All right, attack with some Meyer B. Ooh, we took some damage for a change. On impressive. No, it's, it's, it's okay. Hey, we got another dorky. Sweet. Um. So this is not going quite according to plan, but. I'm going to attack with my bow of longness. Actually, I have, I have a different plan. Can you lob your hand axe at this person and Oh, it's not, not enough. I'm pretty sure he survives a single attack. This guy's done. No, you would have never learned that back in your room, you're right. All right, door open. All right, next up, Byleth. Eh. Don't really have a reason to go the other way, so it leaves Dorothea finally getting to warp for the very first time after arriving on this side of the first warp. We'll take it, I suppose. Yeah, I figured it would hurt, but he'd survive. I wasn't super concerned with him not living through that. And there we are. 
Feel like we're doing okay. What are the objectives here? Conditions. Defeat the Death Knight and or route all so I guess or route all other enemies. Uh don't die with Byleth and don't let 25 turns pass. We're on turn eight. We're doing quite well. We have plenty of time to get everything done. We do have a bit of running around to do, so there is that. Because there's two chests that we obviously want to go and loot. I think I'm improving. Maybe. So, um, canonically, we have not actually defeated the Death Knight at this point. Uh, even getting through this mission, we do not defeat the Death Knight in uh, the full Let's Play realm of things. Mostly because I'm a coward and don't want my people to die. And I don't really like the idea or concept of having to backtrack, which I do a couple of times. There was once or twice that I've done it, but uh, by and large, I, I try to avoid the whole, let's use a, uh, what is this thing called? Oh, I can't do it right now. The uh, time reverse thing. Is it this one? Instead of, yeah, instead of doing that, eh, divine pulse. Don't do that. Alright, so we came in from there. No, we came in from here. Okay, so where does this one take us? Takes us in here, which leads to a chest. Okay. So I suppose we could do that one. Wait, does she have a chest key or anything? She has a couple door keys, but not a chest key. Alright. I suppose I could warp in there. Is that it? She can't move? Oh, well, that's kind of poopy. Meanwhile, Dorothea. I think Bernie's gonna go see where this one takes her. It should be one of the ones on the... Yeah. Okay, so we know where all three of these go. This one heads back to where we first teleported in with Fer Ferdy. This one heads back to the left side over by the healing spot over here. And then this one gets us through into this area. This teleports us up here. And then it's just these two. Where do they take us? We do not know. We are not privy to these things. Alright, so I guess that means at this point we just kind of set up and prepare for uh, murder. Everybody except for, basically, Petra gets to come out and hang out. Eventually. Because we have what? Is there a few people left down here? One. There's one person left there, and then the three people and the Death Knight. So... Yeah. Get Petra over here. I guess I'll check this one with her, and we'll check this one with Bernie. This one takes us up here, which leads to another lever, which I don't know that we need, but probably do, so we'll, we'll see. Is there still a door? There is a door. That may or may not... It says a door key is required to open it. I'm wondering what this lever is going to do, then. Well, either way, we're going to start positioning. As close as we can without triggering the nasty guy. It doesn't matter, it's just one person, right? It's not that big of a deal. Pretty sure he's not going to be our doom and our gloom. Alright. And then this one clearly takes us to where we want to go for the treasure chest. Yep. All right. The is still heading on up. Uh, go Bernie's and go over here and pull the lever. Some of the special tiles have been deactivated. Interesting. Well, wait. Does that mean like the ones that are in here? Neutral tr Oh, okay, it did. It did deactivate the ones in here. Interesting. 
All right, I need, yeah, I need Petra. Thank you. Chest, what do we got? The March Ring. And let's just take this fool out. Okay, well, we're, we're basically there at this point. Not really much else. Just the other treasure chest. Um, I suppose getting the others kind of over here, maybe? I mean, I definitely... Oops. I definitely want Petra as part of this, but... An Iron Axe Plus. Nice. Very nice. All right. And here we are. Also, I skipped a lot of the dialogue and everything. Somebody told me... Uh, actually, it was Craig Stern of uh, Sinister Design, Telepath Tactics. He told me that you can actually skip the vast majority of the... The extra dialogue, the ro running around, the fetch quests. All the stuff that I really haven't been enjoying. Uh, if you're playing through it, he, he kind of specified on your own because, you know with the let's play and all that um you can skip all those things and it really doesn't affect the game that much i was like oh well that's good and that's kind of what i've done here i've skipped the vast majority of the actual stuff all right so what we're going to do is get the last of the folks over here bernie's kind of important she does do some decent damage so i'd like to get her back I mean, again, we have plenty of time. It's only turn 12. We have till turn 25. Um, just gonna wait it out. It's probably not important, whatever that thing is, anyway. Let's make sure that I used all my other peeps. I did, okay. Well, end our turn. I'm a little bit stuffier and sniffly. So, uh, yeah, I don't know exactly how I sound in comparison to the rest of the series up to this point, but... Long story short... I really enjoy this game. It is a lot of fun. There's stuff that I don't like about it, but I mean, there's always gonna be small things that you don't like about just about every game. I don't. I don't think there's been a perfect game yet. I think it's a pretty close, uh, pretty close games to being perfect, but never quite a perfect game. So there always be some minor disappointments. That really sapped a lot of our. Uh, that sapped a lot of our movement. Just stepping to where we stepped. Kind of a surprise. Like, I was expecting to be able to move really far. That's why I did the whole Dorothea thing, and then, bloop, nope, nothing. Can she, she, oh, she can't still move a little bit. All right, that's good. I'm like, can she just not move at all? No, I was expecting a lot more movement out of, the, out of them there. All right. On the turn, Dorothea hopefully has one more gambit up her sleeve. If she does, great. If she doesn't, that's fine, too. She does not. Alright, well, we're gonna rally you. you do some more random stuff. Oh, you know what? That's what it was. I rallied. I didn't use my gambit because I already used it all, I think. I think that's how that worked. That explains why the movement was so bad. Seemingly like that. We're here explaining all this stuff, but I'm totally wrong with the things that I'm saying with my face. It's fine. It's fine. Shamir! Get on down here. Alright. I think that's good. We'll, I think they may have made it easier to kill the Death Knight too. Or, again, maybe I was just super lucky because I got that, that amazing out-of-nowhere crit. Which made me pretty darn happy. Not gonna lie. Full disclosure, pretty thrilled about that. But it's also possible that they made it easier because maybe people were struggling with it. And that's oftentimes they're like, oh, we're, we're going to patch this so people are happy. Versus get good. Which is, uh, you know, sometimes a philosophy. Chest. What are we going to get this time? The Leaven Sword. I can now raise some bread, I guess. Alright, I, I guess we could try this. training bow away um, I can actually attack you well that I'm gonna do that 
What have you learned? What have you learned? I am not going to open the door yet, but I could if I really wanted to. Just saying. It's a thing that I could do. We'll even heal Bernie for one because it's just free experience. Why would we not do that? Oh, that's not nice. You know, he's probably going to destroy your soul, right? Just kind of just throw that out there. Alright, it's going to move a little, like, four more turns? I'm not real sure how powerful she is in the grand scheme of things, honestly, but... I feel like probably pretty powerful. Likewise... Bloop! Feeling pretty good there. Move here and wait. Here and wait, and that's probably it. We'll use uh, Windy Lindy here again in a minute. Not quite yet, but soon. Alright, you know what? Fine, let's just do it now. Change my mind. I am going to attempt to take the Death Knight down. So, again, we'll see how this plays. I have my doubts it's going to go well. Alright. Two more turns, I think. And then we've got it. Nine turns remaining, eight turns remaining. We're pushing the envelope a little bit. It's fine. It's all good. Why does her combat arts come up? What can she do? Draw back. Okay. Uh, let's see. Is there anyone else that we need toward the front, maybe? I'll You're pretty tanky. Let's, let's go ahead and... Put you on the front line. Alright. She's on her way up. I'm gonna move you to the side. Guess I'll move you there. And... Nope, oh, there. I'm actually going to have to move out of the way. Which I'm not sure is the best plan, but we'll, we'll figure it out. Okay, so... There's a small downside to this. If I, if I open the door with her... It's going to use her turn. And this dude's going to scamper out and attack, as I'm sure you guys can see. So we need to be able to... Oh, boy. Yep. Not what I was hoping for. Um... No, we can't do it that way. What if we go in here? Is he gonna attack right away? Like I, I don't. All right, like I said, we're gonna we're gonna try playing around with this a little bit here. I'll equip that. It's unequipped. Okay. We're gonna wait. And then we're going to go ahead and... Oh, man. I'm going to move here and wait. I don't know if the dude's going to go crazy and try to kill us right away or what. I don't know what's going to happen. I'm very terrified right now. If I move there, are you still going to go out? Good. Okay, so we're going to move here now. And if we move there... It's, it's kind of... Oh boy. Alright, let's see what happens. 
You ready, guys and gals? Let's see what goes on. I figured it'd be very little damage, and it was. Alright, cool. So she just basically tanked it. She face tanked it. We're gonna move her out of the way. Uh, we're gonna use Dorothea. Maybe. Alright, so I think the first thing we gotta do is probably hit him up with uh, our boy here. Steel Lance, 100%. He's going to really hurt us. If he crits us, we're going to die, though. And he's got a 21% chance to crit. That is a pretty high chance to crit. So what happens if we hit him with a Gambit? He's got a thing that allows his, him to just absorb Gambit damage and then not really affect him much. Okay, so that's not looking great. Now, what if we use the Sword of the Creator on you? We use Ruptured Heaven. We have a 16% chance to crit you. And you only have a 24% chance to crit us. Which is still high. You know, I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to use that. I'm going to move here. We're going to hope that Byleth is strong enough to survive this. He should be. Even with a crit, I think we still have enough HP. Now you will die together. Cool. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, that was a heck of a level up. My god, man. Look at that. Practice yields results. Whatever you say, Byleth. Can't shake the vision of an ally. Change experience. Equipment durability has been restored. I'm gonna move here. We're gonna assist our boy. Get some sweet, sweet experience. There we are. Okay, so now, do we go with Crazy Gal McGee? The Grounder with the Armor Slayer Sword? Nope, that's not gonna do much. Beta Monsters with the Leaven Sword? Nope, that does not look like a thing that we should try. We do have a very high percent chance to crit, so maybe she'll come in at the end. Now, he is a knight, and I believe we have something called a knight kneeler or something. That was a, that was a weird menu. Oh my goodness, I have so many things that I can do. <laughs> the knight kneeler. Steel lance. Onto our boy, taking him down, putting him down right now. I have no need of you. Oh yeah? Well, we have no need of you either, buddy. You just got God. You just got God, friend. What? This can't be right. Yeah, that was a bit underwhelming. Strength and Dex. Eh. So we received another Dark Seal. Now again, canonically, none of this happened. We did not kill the Death Knight this time or last time, so we do not have a Dark Seal, unfortunately. But I felt like you guys deserved to at least see it. So here we are. Halt. You're having a bit too much fun. Oh. You are getting in the way of my game. Huh. You'll have more opportunities to play soon. Your work here is done. Oh yeah? Understood. I will go. Okay. Hey. We will cross paths again. I am the Flame Emperor. Okay. It is I who will reforge the world. The Flame Emperor has a, a shield. It's a heavily armored. Hmm. Rather worrisome that he sounds intent on showing up again. Are they both okay? We should get them out of here. I'm just saying. The enemy is withdrawn. Let's carry them up. I'm just going to say right now. That the fact that uh, Edelgard wasn't here, and she's our heavy, and she has an axe and a shield, and the Flame Emperor has an axe and a shield, it could be they're the same person. I don't know. I do not know. I I, I don't. But 
That's that's my guess. Or it could be, uh, was it Yuritsa? Could be him? I, the, the Death Knight could be Yuritsa? I don't know what's going on. I really don't have a clue. Bernadetta's motivation is maxed out. Uh, so far up to the point that I have played, I actually have no idea. Like, it hasn't shown me that that's a thing that happens or it isn't happening. I have no idea. I don't know who the Flame Emperor is. I don't know who the Death Knight is. I just, I simply don't know. These are just my predictions, and it's the same prediction I made the last time I did this. I'm just, it's one of those things I noticed, one of those little things. I'm just saying. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I wasn't exactly sure where the next episode started and where I broke off the last one. So this is going to be where the outro goes, and I'll see you in the continued Let's Play, and then eventually I'll get to play some more. And probably another couple weeks or month or two. So, yay for having to wait to play one of my favorite games. Boo. Alright, anyway, it's fine. Until the next episode, folks, my name is Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you so much for stopping by The Freak Show, and I will see you later.